I'm Kayla. I'm Erin. And today we're doing a popsicle stick catapult. So we have two versions. We have a simpler version and then we have the intense version. And we are going to be showing you how to do the simple version and directing you to a YouTube link for the harder version. Which we will link in, in, the, the, in the description box. Yay! <laughs> so if you got a kit, this is what will be in it also known as what you might need. Perhaps. I dropped something. Oh, it's not important. It's okay. So you'll have a bunch of popsicle sticks. You'll need about, thank you, Erin. <laughs> like that. That's why we contained them over yes. there. Okay, right. so popsicle sticks. Those are bright colors. They don't need to be. They can be the thick versions or the little versions. It all depends on like how structurally intact do you want it to be? And be careful, these are wood. There might be splinters. Definitely. Although we try to get the ones that say no splinters. Indeed. But just beware. Um, rubber bands, of course. Um, I don't have a spoon. A plastic spoon or a bottle cap. If you get a bottle cap, you'll need some glue. And all sorts of fun launching tools and perhaps someone or something to launch it at. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Kayla and I are going to be launching it at each other. <laughs> We're excited. Okay. You ready to get started? Yes. Okay. So, and if you have one of these sheets, it has instructions on the back as well you can follow along with, which is what we're going to do. Okay. So, the first thing you're going to do is take your rubber bands and make them into a stack. You can make them seven. And by rubber bands, she meant popsicle sticks. That is exactly what I meant. Thank you, Erin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so our instructions say seven, and you can do seven. Uh, this piece we're making is called a fulcrum, and the higher it is, the um, further thank you, your thing will launch, but it will also be less accurate and okay. a little bit more wiggly so just you can experiment with it and see what works for you well, and i'm a direction you. follower so <laughs> i will just make a stack of seven okay and then you're going to wrap a rubber band around either end so you have your fulcrum yes good job Aaron. thank you and then you're going to take another popsicle stick not a rubber band <laughs> and slide it between uh, the bottom and the second bottom one. So it'll look like that. Kayla makes it look easy. I am <laughs> clearly struggling because I put my rubber bands on tightly. Oh, and you do want your rubber bands closer to the edges of your fulcrum. <laughs> All right. And you kind of have to like pull them apart a little bit. Okay. To slide it in. All right. I've also, I made this one, so I've made one before. This is my first time, so... <laughs> You got this. I don't know. Oh, there we go. There you go. Good job, Aaron. Now I have to do it again. Nope. Oh, good. So then you're going to take another oh, another popsicle stick and just set it on top. Oh, just on top. Just That's on top. top. Yep. Okay. All right. And uh, put them together and rub them band them. Oh. And I like to pull my two popsicle sticks a little further out so it's easier to rubber band them closer to the ends of the popsicle sticks okay. that go together. And then you can push it, push it in. And you have that close to the edge. And bam, you have a catapult. All right. Okay. Pretty straightforward. But what do you do with the spoon? So then, let me just steal this spoon. You're just gonna, you could, I use rubber bands because they're reusable. But, so then you can reuse like your popsicle stick, but you can also glue it or use tape. All sorts of fun oh, yeah. things. Okay. And then you do that. You can also, so you can also experiment and put it further up on your popsicle stick. Or as like the image shows, you can move it further down. You can use this rubber band right here for the popsicle stick. Oh. All sorts of um, things. There's no one right way with this particular design. Correct. The advanced <laughs> catapult, I will tell you right now, I cannot make. Um, 
Caleb made mine. <laughs> and that one looks a little different than it's supposed to be. That's okay. Hard. Yes, it is very challenging. So if you want a challenge, um, it's the way to go. Also, you can use your popsicle sticks and rubber bands and try to make your own, or you can use Google and see some examples to make. You don't have to make one of these two. You know, if you're an experimenter. Um, what do you think? So, when you go to lunch, remember if you're using something that is hard, please don't flick it at each other. Woo! We have little soft pom poms. I mean, we also have some little beads, so if you are using those, make sure you're not putting those at people. And if you have younger siblings and or babysitting, don't use them around <laughs> your uh, little charge because they are choking hazards. Oh, that's a good point. We do Thank not you. stand the choking. No, we don't. Okay. You don't have to pick them up. But we have to launch the other stuff. So. Oh, that's true. We got to try the advanced. The advanced ones. Ooh. I need to fix mine. Oh, yeah, because you borrowed the spoon. Yes. Not enough spoons. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Are you excited? I'm really excited to uh, to launch with this one. Okay, let's thread that back in. Pull that piece up. Oh, nope. This way. See, I already forgot how I made it. <laughs> okay. Pom pom? Yep. Three, two, one. Oh! Oh, oh. you hit yourself again. I hit pom -pom. myself. Okay. It's fine. Okay. I'm determined to hit Kayla, but I think. Yeah. <laughs> they go really far. They do. This is kind of fun. I'm going to have to pick all this stuff up. You're trying to hit me with a bead? <laughs> <laughs> it didn't work. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> can you launch popsicle sticks off of this? I don't know. Let's try see it. See what happens. You can. They don't go very far. Or if you can curl up your rubber band and... Oh, yeah. What if we try to hit the... The camera. Oh, you went through the I hole. Went th I went through the lighting, the light ring. Ooh, now it went to the bathroom. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you need to know what we're going to be doing the rest of the day, it's this. Definitely uh, this. Because it's, it's fun. It's really fun. When I was making this craft, the amount of time I just sat here and played with it, with things. I get it, kids. <laughs> I understand. Do you want to talk about the books? Okay, so we have the books here, all the fun books. And what is the first one on the list? This is the first one on the list. The 13 Story Treehouse by Griffiths. Thank you. It's on the it's on the book. It's by Andy Griffiths. And this one is really fun because it's about these two kids that make this humongous treehouse of all these cool things. Is it 13 stories? Shockingly, it is, Ooh. but it gets bigger. It does get bigger because there's more in the series, there's right? There's more in the series, so it gets bigger and bigger. And it's like, it kind of reminds me of Diary of a Wimpy Kid-esque. There's a word for that. Mm -hmm. But it's got pictures and words in it, and it's super fun. I don't think I'm doing it justice, but I enjoy it very much. What do you got, Erin? Uh, so I have the Play These Games book. It is a non-fiction book. Uh, so 101 delightful diversions using everyday items. So it has uh, a whole bunch of games that you can make and play with everyday objects from your house. And it's got a list of things that um, you might want or need. Um, you don't have to have all of them, but uh, anyway. So there's, there's all kinds of um, games and stuff that you can make in this um, in this book. Uh, it'd be fun to do with your parents or your siblings. If you're really bored and you don't know what to do, you can make your own little mini micro foosball, which I think would be fun. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you, you can make all kinds of toys to entertain yourself. Okay, and moving on to like the teens, you know, the, the cool books. I have a series here, and the first one is called Mechanica by Betsy Cornwall. And this one is kind of steampunky Cinderella-esque, but she's an inventor, so she 
it's not just about getting like getting the prince it's about getting her dream of being an inventor and being seen as her own person and then spoiler alert in the second one she is an inventor and it's how like you can kind of see she makes this dragon and out of metal because it's steampunk as i said and it's she goes on this like huge adventure inventing things to help her get past her obstacles so it's v venturous i like venturous. it it mm -hmm. implies that she's venturing yeah so highly recommend it uh there is a manga series called attack on titan and it's kind of um a book about when the colossus titan has come down and he has breached humanity's first line of defense which is a wall hence why <laughs> we are relating it to catapults because catapults were kind of um a tool that was used in pre-modern times to um for warfare, uh, if they wanted to like breach a castle wall, they had catapults to help um, propel things over the wall. Um, and so this is uh, a book of the series is about um, how humanity kind of defends itself against the Colossus when it's trying to get through the wall. And I believe there is an anime, Attack on Titans anime uh, series as well. So um, if you like The Walking Dead, you probably like this as well. And then there's one more book that we have on our list that we don't have with us because it is not at the library. Uh, I don't know if it got checked out or if it's missing, but I bet you could find it on maybe Digital Johnson County or our new cloud library that is launching uh, on Monday. March 1st, which is Monday. Which will already be out by the time. Yes, by the time you out. see this. So cloud library is a new service that we are offering. Um, but it's called The Women in the Walls by Amy Lukovics, and it's a, it's a horror novel, but it's not like gory, and it's more in like the creepy vein of horror, not in the bloody, gross vein of horror. Um, but it's a, it's a fascinating look about the physical structure of the house and its occupants and how uh, the occupants perhaps go a little crazy in how the uh, the house uh, propels that. So, I read it a while ago, so I don't remember all the details, but I do remember really uh, enjoying it and also being kind of creeped out by it. So, mm -hmm. excellent book. So if you're interested in any of these books, you can feel free to make an appointment to come into the library and check them out or request them via our curbside service or put them on hold if they're checked out. Mm -hmm. Um, we would love to see yes. what your catapults turned into or look like, especially if you did this one. Yes. Or how or you did like a double catapult system. Ooh. I don't know. It'd be cool. It would be. So feel free to share it with us on any of our social media. Uh, I have it written down here because I always forget. Our Instagram is at NLCL underscore teens. And Snapchat is NLCL Teens, and Aaron posts really cool stuff on that when I remember. <laughs> uh, yeah, so let us know. Definitely. And have fun catapulting. Yes. Bye. Bye. Good job, Kayla. Oh.